Hello everybody. Um the severed arm. Um a group of guys go into a, a cave a hunting rock samples. They they all know each other, but they're all from kind of different walks of of life. There's one is a radio DJ. There's a a, a um, cop. There's a, um, a doctor, and you know, in hindsight, I don't know or why they was in there hunting hunting for for rock samples but the important thing is is they was in there and there is a cave in and they get trapped the guys are are all under hurt, but nobody knows exactly where they are, and they don't know if or 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 when help is uh, coming. They have some canteens, but. No, food. So all they can do is just uh, see it and hope that help comes. And they're okay at first. They're making jokes about it. And one of the guys starts um, um, talking about how people in in similar situations have re resorted to kind of cannibalism and they all laugh about it well eventually the canteens go empty their beards grow out they're hungry they are exhausted and they are dying and the subject of cannibalism comes back up again. And this time they aren't joking about it. One of the guys says, well, instead of killing the guy, why don't you just take a a a part of him and like an arm or or a foot you know and and they can all take turns doing that until help comes and the guys are all uh, against it but time goes on and they are at death's door and they say okay and so they all draw s straws to, to to see who the first one is and one of the guys named named Ted is the un the un the unlucky 
of one. But he talks the guys into just uh, is holding off just one more day and see if help comes. And so th th they say, uh, okay. Well, that night, Ted, in a panic, uh, d d uh, attacks them. And they say, okay, Ted, it's uh, time. And they uh, hold him down, and the uh, doctor cuts off his, uh, uh, his uh, arm. Well, as 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 soon as they as they uh, cut it off, they can hear rocks being moved. Um, help has finally came, and so uh, basically they cut off the guy's arm for n n n nothing, and they they uh, the and they. Uh, panic and so they uh, he's unconscious and so th th they all say let's just say that his 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 arm got hurt and it had to and it had to be cut off and he's out of his head Cuckoo, and and he kind of is out of his head. Cuckoo, so he gets taken off and locked up in the in the mental hospital, and they all go on about their their lives but since this is a horror film you know that Ted will not stay locked up for long and he doesn't uh, he gets out and soon one of the guys gets an, an arm in the uh, 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 Mail. Ted is coming for him, and Ted's got a a a a, a, a hatchet, and Ted is not happy. The severed arm came out in 1973, and it looks. Like it. Uh, it it looks just like the kind of thing that you would see in a drive-in or a a grind house the uh, theater. Um, it looks low. It looks low of budget because it it is, and it, it just has that kind of, and it it just has that kind of of uh, atmosphere to it. Now, whether or not you like it, it's kind of all up to your your taste for this um, 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 kind of thing. It's a good idea. It's the kind of thing that you would have seen in like the uh, in the uh, EC uh, horror comic books. Um I don't know if it's handled as good as it could have been. Uh, the attacks are all good, uh, and the 
the ending of it is good, but in between those things, it can be kind of dull. And the horrible electronic sound track it doesn't help anything much. It's kind of hard on the the old uh, ears. Now, now, now there is some gore, but not much. Uh, like you'll see when the arm is gone, you might see a little bit of red stuff on the uh, stump or something like that. Um, if it came out now, it would probably be PG-13 at the worst. Now, um, most home video copies of it are taken from a a heavily edited TV print which has all the gore gone out of it. The VHS tape put out by Video Gems is is the only actual uncut copy of it out there as far as I know. Now, um, Code Red did put it out on DVD and it's it's uncut as far as the gore and, and that kind of thing goes but they they took out some dialogue scenes so if you want to see the whole thing or as near to the whole thing as we can see you need to to find it on VHS I don't know if it's a movie that all our fans just need to, to see I think a lot of a lot of people may just think that it's kind of dull and and it kind of is but I like things like this the low budget stuff from the 70s like this um, I don't know why I just uh, I just uh, always have. I like it how they look. I like how they feel. And this is a a good example of of good old '70s era cornball. <laughs> So, um, that's it. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, bye bye.